But this last summer, it was different. I took my wife on a cruise to celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary. And God made sure that wherever I went, he brought people that I could tell about Jesus. And the really great news is I didn't have to go look for them. They came and they found me. And so my wife was very understanding about all this. She knows that I have to spend some part of my day sitting at a table with light and a cup of coffee and my Bibles. And she understands that that helps keep me sane and fulfilled. I find it to be a very fulfilling thing to spend time with the Word of God and to just ask God, Lord, where do you want me today? To whom do you want me to speak? To whom shall I listen? And what shall I say? In essence, I want to live today with God. It's it's the only way to really, I think, have a meaningful walk with the Lord is to make oneself available and to be present. Not just existing, but present. Because when you're present, you know, you can kind of have your antenna up and be listening, be sensing. Is God doing something? And am I willing to pay attention to what it is that God might be doing? in my life. We don't have to be preachers. We don't have to be evangelists. We don't have to be prophets or apostles. or We don't have to have a label. But if we love the Lord, we should be available and present. And then we should just be sensitive to what God is doing and pay attention. So I'm encouraging you to be present, to offer yourself up to God, to be what the scripture terms a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, to just be present wherever it is God has you. And should you choose to be someplace and just to be looking at his word, pay attention to his word and see if God brings anybody around just to ask you questions because I'm going to give testimony of some of the glorious things that happened on my summer vacation during the times I was just sitting drinking